Hey y'all, I'm gonna make an omelet today in my camper. Yeah, nomad style. Mm, I can't wait, I'm hungry. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so for my omelet, I'm gonna need two eggs, a package of diced ham, a bell pepper, olive oil, some cheese, an onion, salt and pepper to taste, and two tablespoons of milk. I usually put one tablespoon per egg. Okay, well, I'm going to be getting all this prepared and okay, I'll be some right of the utensils that you might need. And, and you know, you could do this any way you want to. This is how I do it. I, I like to have a really good sharp knife to cut my onion and bell pepper. I want a couple of bowls, one to put my, my bell pepper and onion in and one to mix my eggs in. And then I like to have my trusty, not rusty, cast iron skillet. There's my olive oil and something to toss the egg around in and the, the vegetables and ham. Okay, and you can make, like I said, you can make your omelet any way you wish with any ingredients. As long as it has eggs, it's an omelet, I guess. Um, some people, I guess, celery, uh, you know, just whatever you have at hand. Anyway, let me get these chopped up. pan, heat it up, see, I'm using one of these little one pound bottles on my little camp stove here, although you can get the attachments that can uh, quick release or whatever to the, uh, to get, use bigger bottles, the bigger propane bottles. Let that heat up a minute. Once it's heated up, add a little oil. I probably, I'm thinking of maybe doing a part two to this, this here, and uh, showing you how to take care of your cast iron skillets nomad style. There are many different methods in which people take care of their cast iron. I love my cast iron. I have several pieces. I'd love to expand on that. But there are several different methods. I, I, the method I use that I like isn't the method that my dad taught me. And my dad taught me to boil the water, boil any stuck, boil it out, and uh, you know loosen any stuck particles with that. Oh, good gracious! I'm opening this pan, this ham. I do. I like the. I like doing it with kosher salt, coarse grain salt. And uh, yeah, I think I might do a part two to this video and show you all how I do that. All right, I think my oil is hot enough that I can add my vegetables. Oh yeah. I don't know if it's just, if this is a, would be considered an omelet or a scramble, more like a egg scramble. <laughs> now when I was traveling, when I moved here from Kentucky, I would stop at the city parks with this stove here. I really like this stove. Um, on this side, it's got a grill, but I, I, I used that grill once, and I really didn't like it. I cooked a steak over there, and I really just didn't like it. But i tell you what I did like it for. I have a large skillet, a really large skillet. It's one of them copper skillets, and I would place it over here. And I would, uh, but anyway, I'd stop at the city parks from here, Mississippi, Alabama, wherever. And I would cook my breakfast and lunch, my meals. And I would, uh, I'd use smoked sausage and put eggs or even bologna. Okay, I like fried bologna. All right, yeah. But anyway, I would, uh, stop off and, and cook my breakfast at the city parks and enjoy the day. I, that is one of the, and, uh, one of the things I really liked about traveling in the way I did is I got to stop at oh, so many beautiful places. Um, Pensacola Beach, there's a little beach there in Pensacola that I, I really shown, it was one of my favorites. 
that's where the Blue Angels was doing their maneuvers that day. But uh, yeah, I spent a long time there. Right, I'm going to add a little bit of spoonfuls of ham to this. Let me get my... That ought to be good. That's, that's a good chunk right there. All right. But yeah, you can use this uh, onion and bell pepper combination with just about anything. Look, let's don't make a mess here. I'm already having an ant problem in here. I would set up my little get up out there. You know, I had everything I showed you in the first video, which I'll put a card up in the top, the link to that how I packed my car, my trunk, and um, that was so I'd have easy access to my stove, and I had groceries in there. I kept a cooler in my passenger seat. I had these, these uh, what is those, cool bags or whatever, and I kept my, you know, separated, kept things separated, like my butters from my onion. You know, I had butter and margarine, and uh, onions and bell peppers, and I didn't want them to mix in the same so I had two bags that I kept with some ice. You know, I drained it every day. You can use salt and pepper to taste in this, but I, I find that the ham actually gives, you know, seeps out enough salt that it, it's good. I don't need any extra salt. So now, and turn my heat down a little bit because I don't want my egg cooking too fast. Just ever so slightly. Like I said, I want my egg to cook slow. I actually got too much vegetables right there, but I like my, I like vegetables. A lot of vegetables in mine. And almost the heat from the, uh, the vegetables almost get, cooks the eggs itself. going to barely cook it. I don't like dried up eggs. I don't like them really watery either. But like I said, the heat of the vegetables just about cooks the egg. Get all that stuck on. I like cast iron. It's mostly non-stick, but to be truthful, I had just redone this right before I started this video. It's been out in the camper for a while and I needed to re I needed to clean it up before this video. So, so anyway, let me get this plate. Delicious. To me it does. Not, not to you, but I, man, I can't wait to dig in. So let's go eat. Put a little cheese on this sucker. Now that's a meal fit for a king, queen, or a nomad. I'm going to eat. Cold glass of milk. Yum. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. I'm okay with that. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already, and push that notification bell and you'll be notified of all my videos that I upload. Till the next time, I'm eating. Stay tuned, I may give a part two on cleaning this skillet. All right, enjoy.